go 28 to 13 and improve their record to 2 and 0. So it was a big victory for the Ducks. And let's take a look at some of the uh, post-game statistics to show you how the team and some of the individuals did. You see the Ducks dominating in the first downs, rushing 164 to only 110 for Texas Tech. Danny O'Neill, big game passing. We'll show his individual stats in a moment. Total offense, 456 to 340. So good balance, sir. Pretty good balance there. And the, the defense doing it when it had to get done. Uh, there's those penalties, Coach. We talked about it last week. And again, eight more than I'm sure that uh, you would like to see. Punning. Now, Tommy Thompson averaged only 41, but he had at least a three, I believe, inside the 20-yard line. And when he had to kick them long, he did. Bounds, their punter, well, seven for 48. That says it all. He is outstanding. Returns. And we didn't mention this at the beginning of the show, but I thought that was one of the keys. They have an outstanding return man in Tracy Saul. And you see just... Actually, those numbers should be reversed. The Ducks with 92 and Texas Tech with 16, but their return game absolutely negated by your kickers. It was. It was nullified completely. And the third down conversions, again, the Ducks 50% or better the first two weeks. After the game, we went into the locker room, but first the Sean Burwell stats and then Anthony Lynn there leading rusher. O'Neill, a great night, four touchdown passes as well. Now into the locker room we go to get some of the players' reaction to the game around hitting people uh, you know you got to give them a lot of credit they hung in there and played a hell of a game and uh, you know they had a few mistakes that hurt him uh, luckily for us and uh, I think we had a lot of mistakes in the game we'll see that in the game film but uh, you know we came out with a victory which is I guess the important thing but uh, you know I, I think the mistakes that we made could hurt us in later on games and uh, you know again uh, hats off to Texas Tech. We give up one touchdown just to see how uh, they're coming at us what they're throwing at us and then our coaches work from there and then we're, the coaches are geniuses we can shut them down after that you know. So we just, it's just a feeling. We just want to feel what they're throwing at us. Tell me about the first one now, the one when you danced down the sidelines. <laughs> I just uh, got the ball and had some running room. I was trying to make it around that corner. And even after I got in the end zone, I, I turned around because I didn't know if I made it in. But uh, I just got, got those feet in to, enough to make it in the end zone. So. It's kind of a little harder, but I saw a couple of people, you know, I ran a couple of screens and stuff, and I saw two people chase me. But, I mean, if they're going to do that, to open up our passing game even more. I mean, they had to go one-on-one -on -one with some of our receivers, and there was a lot of linebackers on receivers when I saw on the inside, so they did a good job getting away from that. I think they were uh, concentrating more on our run, especially with Sean uh, back there. So they're giving us a lot of cushion, uh, especially for the shorter routes, which opened up for the longer routes. And I think uh, that really was a key to it. Same uh, pattern I scored on the uh, the first time against Washington State. Exact same play. Uh, they threw a really good ball, and I was able just to get up under and uh, make a good catch. Well, they ran on us a little bit more than we thought. You know, they got some good, tough fullbacks, running backs. Uh, we just we really didn't make any, too many adjustments. We just got to wrap up. You know, we had some problems wrapping up the ball. Okay. That's pretty much it. It's a hard thing to take in when you fumble it and they get seven points because of it. But uh, I think the whole offensive line and the receivers and uh, the backs are really confident with our offense. We knew that we were going to put points on the board, so uh, we, we knew that we would put points on the board. They start out in their in their three deep, you know, cover three look, and uh, that's what our defense runs a lot. So I was just really comfortable with their defense. Well, he was indeed comfortable with uh, the defense, and he is getting more and more comfortable with your offense as the weeks progress as well. Well, he is, Todd, and uh, I think people are going to learn a little lesson from this game. Uh, he burned the blitz several times in this with touchdown passes, and uh, uh, they may think he's young and inexperienced, but he's a pretty savvy quarterback. Yeah, and even though they tried to stop Sean Burwell, the other players came through and got the job done offensively, so he isn't the only guy.